Another aspect of our work at Action for India has been the work that we've been doing with the Indian diaspora. So two of our current active chapters outside of India are in the US and in the UK. In the US, uh, we have a chapter in uh, Silicon Valley, California. And as uh, most of you would know, the Valley is home to a huge concentration of successful Indian origin entrepreneurs, investors, executives. And several of them have an urge to connect with what's happening back home in India. Recognizing this, we launched a Silicon Valley chapter more than seven years ago. And uh, during this time, uh, we also built what we call a Silicon Valley leadership circle. It has a few professors at Stanford. It has a few prominent Sandal Road venture capitalists. It has a, it has a few successful general entrepreneurs. And the whole mission of the chapter and the leadership circle is how can we connect the resources of Silicon Valley with the leading social entrepreneurs of India. So one specific initiative of the Silicon Valley chapter is what we call the Silicon Valley challenge. So when we do our annual forum, on the average, we receive about 300 applications from social entrepreneurs around the country. From them, we select 100 of them and invite them to attend the forum. And at the forum, we organize a business plan competition. We call it the Silicon Valley challenge. And through a series of steps, we select five from the 100. So it's actually five from the 300 that year. So these are truly among India's leading social entrepreneurs. And these five, we refer to them as the Silicon Valley Challenge Fellows. We fly them to the Valley on an all expense paid trip for a couple of weeks. And we facilitate interactions for them at places like Berkeley, Stanford, Santa Clara University. We take them to tech companies like Cisco, Twitter, Google. And as importantly, we organize private and public meetings with members of the Indian diaspora. So some of these entrepreneurs are able to raise money, initiate tech partnerships, identify mentors, and so on. So during uh, the past few years, we organized four of these uh, Silicon Valley treks. Uh, during the last trek, we met with people of the stature of Ram Sriram, who is the founding board member at Google. We met with uh, Kanwal Reiki, the co-founder of Thai. We also extend the trek the last time around to the east coast of the US. And we met with a gentleman by the name John Podesta. Mr. Podesta is the former White House Chief of Staff for both uh, the former presidents, President Clinton and President Obama. And uh, the reason, uh, and he was also the chairman of Hillary Clinton's uh, 2016 presidential campaign. He's very clearly somebody from the political domain. And the reason why we met with him is because Mr. Podesta has a strong interest in the energy sector. And he's also pretty active in the India US corridor. And uh, when he came to know that year that three of the five entrepreneurs in our trek were from the energy sector, he invited us to meet with his team at the Center for American Progress in Washington DC. And that's how that meeting happened. So this gives you a sense of the kind of leaders that we engage with during the Silicon Valley tracks. And again, the Valley is considered the epicenter for technology innovation globally. People from around the world congregate to Silicon Valley to build companies that develop products and services that address global markets. And uh, our hypothesis is that even a brief exposure to such a Silicon Valley innovation ecosystem would enable our entrepreneurs when they come back to India to refine their business models or build more effective organizations. That's the reason why we uh, have been doing the Silicon Valley tracks. And earlier this year, we also launched a new international chapter in the UK based out of London. And again, it has a, uh, some influential members uh, who are executives, who are investors, who are in the technology realm, who are uh, involved with incubators, accelerators, and so forth, and who have a strong interest in engaging with the social entrepreneurs in India. So this chapter was begun about four months ago. And uh, we are also in the early stages of launching chapters in other international capitals, uh, which have a significant Indian diaspora, including Singapore, Dubai, Toronto, and so forth. So essentially, the objective of the international chapters is to uh, identify members of the Indian diaspora and work with them to get resources uh, for the social entrepreneurs in India.